Yeah. Right, Teddy was posing for the kitchen. Yeah. Back in the day, yeah, I used to make him stand there. Sometimes I think I've got a video still of maybe a minute after. Yeah. <laughs> He's just standing there. Still like, yeah. One with the TTL around his head, like yeah. Rambo. Yeah. Um, and if you go, take the picture. And after 30 seconds, I said, yeah. you're, you're filming. You're filming it, yeah. No, 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 mate, no, no, no. Just get the angles. Okay, okay. I've carried on. <laughs> <laughs> got quite a few of them videos. We'll have to Literally share them somewhere have. if we can. Absolutely. So we are doing a charity walk called Ride and Stride. We are. We're walking to the starting location there. It's going to take us half the day and we'll be walking around circumference, circumference of Sitting Bull, um, stopping up all the churches, taking selfies, photos, raising money for charity. I've got the heaviest bag in the world. Billy's brought a drawstring bag. I've got a little tiny thing so I can't fit drinks in. But I didn't know Billy already bought bottles of water as well. Yes, he did. So. <laughs> Feeling ready for it. We are, we are. The sun's shining, that's giving me a bit more motivation now. It's going to be a high about 2 o'clock apparently. It is going to be. Might get up to 19. 19. Maybe. No jokes. No jokes. Oh, it's There's the church, first and parts. How do we get into there? Around here. Around here. Any history about this church now that I've left? But Sorry? it's still being used. No, no it's, well, it's used for other things. Yep. Uh, really, it can have a service three quarter back. That's in it. But it was they knocked most of it down in the 1870s when okay. the gas were actually built. A new Merston church, but okay. kept this because the burial. This is the 1200. It goes back to 1200 at least. It's the the chancel. Yes. Yeah, so well, they kind of redid it. Built it. You can see the arches that will be built yeah, on yeah, the outside yeah. will be filled in. Yes. And it's just like a little coach or a little bit of a crazy version of the There's a sweet place. And we've just arrived at the second church. We're going to slow it down a bit because I think we're not soaking in the church properly. So we've, this church is All Saints in Merston. It's closed, so you have to sign the book for the riding stride. So that be the. Bill, tell us a little bit about the history of this one. Oh, it's a beautiful building. Thank you. Church of All Saints, Merston, Sittingbourne is an Anglican parish church in the county of Kent, England. 
is notable due to its architect, William Burge, and was constructed in 1873 to 4. The church was built in an early Gothic style and incorporates fragments of the original 12th century church. The estimate was 3,000, but the public subscription raised only 2,000. As a consequence, the intended tower was truncated. It's a Grade 2 listed building as of 1st of December 1974. You've got a great memory for the details of church in the bus. Yeah, thank you. Crypt, yeah, that's like it, isn't it? All sealed off. Shame we can't see this one, this one's closed. Tell us about this door. This door was erected five years ago. The original door was stone, but damaged over the years by vandals. What's a shame. It's a beautiful leather chub, a handle, and a weather guard at the bottom. You know your history. I certainly do. Trees, I'll tell you about four, remember? Yeah. Pagan trees? Yeah. Yew trees? So this is Backchild Church. And Billy will tell us a bit more information about it in a second. This church is St. Lawrence Church in Backchild. You can visit this by going to School Lane. And it's on the corner from the bend, not in between Robinson and St. Lawrence. Parish Church dedicated to St. Lawrence is built of flint in the style of Mormon and early England with a shingle spire and one bell. Parish registers back to 1562 and the memorial in the church mainly relates to the Gascoigne and Lake families. If you're wondering why we now see patchwork like this 
that doesn't match the old grade listings because we have a church near us which is grade one it's because back in the day they didn't have that legislation to protect the old buildings and keep them as they were so they would just use the current materials of the time and style just to fit in which is why you see these bricks and these bricks aren't modern they're still a few hundred years old <laughs> Billy's got your sticker. Thank you, Donny. There was only one. You kindly gave it to me. Yeah, nice like that. Thank you. You are. There's the church. So we are in the right place. That is the main thing. Let's cut the pavement. Okay. Remember that box? Old school that box. I love the them. Yeah. They're awesome. That's fun to find your first day as a postman. <laughs> Where is it? It's built in the wall behind a post. <laughs> all these big trees. But these are the yew trees all around, haven't they? They're all cyclists. All the sitting outside, we can probably have some feet there. Death is the gate of life. St. Nicholas of Omission. To heaven, of heaven of all believers, when thou hast overcome the show. The sharpness of the thou. Oh, I can't see that. Can't read that bit. It's honestly bright. I am the resurrection and life. Little snack time, another coffee, and then we will wander back onto St. Michael's Church next. We've met some really nice people in all the churches, other people doing the walks as well. Some are cycling, and it's the perfect day for it as well.
looks like we are food. I have two cups of coffee, two churches. Yep. Nice month, bed is full. Got another six hours left to complete oh, the rest. Cool now. Got till six o'clock, haven't we? So it's 12 o'clock now. 12.30. I'm gonna head now to St. Michael's in the High Street for our next church. And this will be number five. Five. What's your favourite church so far, Bill? The one before this one. But I did like the the praying section in that one. It's had a really nice beautiful, yeah. beautiful. What was the one before this one? Uh Bat Child. Bat Child. That's this, my favourite this so is, far. This is Bob McKinnon. Yeah. Billy has a book coming out. At the end of the year. I do. Do you want to give us a little summary? Um Cheers, mate. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Tell us about your book coming out at the end of the year. My book will be coming out probably nearer Christmas. It's about my awakening to Jesus Christ. I had to go through the lowest points of my life, hit rock bottom, until I surrendered myself to our Lord. And since then, miracles have happened. Joy has entered my life, and it's just getting better. So yeah, just before Christmas, the final edit should be done, and we're gonna get it out there. People. This is the one we went to just before. This is Billy's favourite church, as in what externally. I like the feel of it. The feel of it. I like the feel of it and the atmosphere inside. It's quite close knitted together as well. Yeah. Um, it's not an overly big church. Um, I'm going to call it cosy inside. Very welcoming. This church is not on the list. This it is. Is it not? I don't know. It's St Michael's. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. I take it back. It's got the wrong name, but yes, it's included. May we never forget. Okay, so we decided to use the public toilets halfway through to lighten the load, let's say in the politest way. So as we um, were there, Billy's in one cubicle, I was in the other. I have to say public toilets are just shocking and the, the writing on the wall was unbelievable. I've never seen so much. On the wall, I'm, I'm just gonna say it, it was racist comments about attacking minorities and certain religions and cultures. And then it was 14 year old boys to be doing stuff and then men saying this and I've never seen anything like it before. Um, anyway, he's there. And then Billy will fill you in the next part. Oh, cheers. So the cubicles, the doors, is probably about two foot off the ground. So you can see all the feet walking in. So, during our short visit, two sets of foot, footsteps walked past, both using new rhinos. Um, so I come out about five minutes later, come out, they was both still there, washed my hands, another few minutes, I was hanging about a bit because Donnie was still in there and I didn't leave him with two strange gentlemen. Um, anyway, I come outside, I was outside for another three to four minutes. Open the door, pop my in, see if Donnie was all right. And they both still standing in the same position. So they was up to something naughty. And while I was doing my business, I heard a noise like, <sighs> it made me paranoid. I actually looked up above the cubicle and below to make sure no one was watching me. As I came out as well, the man got a bit spooked, so the old gentleman got a bit spooked, looked me directly in the eyes, as if say, oh dear, I've been caught or something. He's gone out straight away. Didn't wash his hands or anything? Didn't wash his hands, went straight into his car. The other guy was still in there for another five minutes. Yeah. I don't know if he was waiting for him to come back in. We come out, and I think they both got spooked. He, the, gentleman, the older gentleman stayed in his car. 
and the other guy, I think he got a bit paranoid and left. Yeah. Right, hi guys. Um, me and Donny have just been having a discussion about his greeting to people. It's a smile he does. And he says he doesn't get much reaction from it. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you guys think. Well, I know what I think. Um, That's my greeting when I walk down the street and say hello to people on country walks. I always thought that was a big smile. Clearly saying it's not. Do it again. Let's come Oh, you see a smile, a small smile. It's not. I can see why people turn you away. I thought it was smiling. To be honest. Do it when you're walking. Yeah. I'll cross the road. I look so fat, man. What do you think? Tits. Got tits. A little bit, there, look. Oh, they're like tits, aren't they? They're like cheeks. We are getting old. That's what happens. Grow old gracefully, Don. Grow fat gracefully. See the smile? Yeah. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I am freaked out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at this beard and this light. It's awful. Why didn't you tell me, Don? Oh, my word. I look about 100. <laughs> <laughs> it's not colour, so you colour it, dye it, a bit messes your hair. I think I should. That's really bad. It's good in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more smile. Shall we go? Before we go. And there you go. Let's know, let us know what you think, guys. I know what I think. St. John in Tunstall, Kent. Long walk, but we made it. Yeah, church number six. Yeah. Under renovation, it looks like. Hi. Hello.
that's it, yeah. Wow. There's no one to sit there. Come on. Could have sat in the church, but I guess. I was gonna have another one of those chocolate cakes. I was like, oh, should I? Took the kid off. Yeah. Get many more people there. Again, the age range was still apart from the ones that came on the bike, the husband and wife, yep. wife and girlfriend. Yep. But whether, but I don't know if they're just doing it for fitness charity oh, or, if, fitness, yeah. or if they're actual goers. They're probably avid bike riders. What are you doing? Running? She gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got the credit right now. Yeah, a bit of running. Why is that? Uh, you know, I thought we put in 30k in today. You know, just something relaxing before the main ones. Oh, this is tight. What's the wire on the left? Is this actually. Luckily, it's no like dangerous wild animals in this field. Yeah, this is no like fawns either side here. Ah. Like fawns or barbed wire either side. <laughs> Oh, mate, there is both sides, isn't there, boys? Thanks, ladies, for the recommendation. This has saved us a lot of time. Sliced our skin off. Yeah. And it's nice and high as well. It's, cool, though, it's great for tall people. <laughs> How are you getting on? I'm feeling right. I'm standing, wouldn't you? Oh, he's not even slouching. No. I'm just standing. Go on. Oh, yeah. Stretch there. Wow. Are we looking at hundreds of thousands? Apples? Most definitely, yeah. Final destination should be down there eventually. At some point in the future. But for now, we are following Billy's map. Feeling confident, Bill? That's got a lot of ivy growing up the side there. Yeah. Huge amount of ivy. Yeah. Right to the top. Uh -huh.
Jesus said, I am the resurrection. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Church number eight. We are approaching number eight. I wonder if it's open or not. Welcome to Sim Path on a new bobbin service every Sunday at 11 a.m. Bobbin all into Edward The parish of Bobbin called into Edward Hastings. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like you're looking at the camera. Donald, the camera's there. Not Ricky Gervais. The parish of Bobbin, according to Edward Hasted in 1800, contains about 780 acres of land, of which 40 were wood. It's nice, that smells nice. It smells freshly clean, doesn't it? The medieval manor house of Bobbin Court, now a Grade II listed ruin, was built by the Savage family. It passed to the distinguished soldier Sir Conyers Clifford, and then by marriage into the St. Leger family. Cool down a bit, yeah. half the time.
we did nine churches we raised 250 pounds we've walked maybe 11 miles 12 miles plus i'll say 12 miles yeah. 12 miles we have a look after we've done the 20,000 steps I reckon. Um, and we're going to reward ourselves now with the takeaway we are we can go from Mackie D's. About the church, Dolly? But now I'm thinking more like Mackie D's or then my brain's saying chicken balls. Yeah. I don't know why. But um Do you know anything yeah. about this church, Dolly? Yeah, this is Milton Regis Church. This is one of the three oldest churches in Kent. Fabulous. It has the highest tower in Kent. Yeah. And it's the third highest tower in the entire country. Wow. It's about yeah. fourteen hundred years old. Old. That is very old. It's, I saw can, a picture of a, a dog in inside the church. There's a story about a dog, which we'll talk about in a future episode, about the histories of churches and the dog's personal to this location and this church. His name was Drummer. This was originally, as a lot of sites we've seen, a pagan site that was expanded and built upon. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice slow walk back. Legs are aching a bit. We're gonna eat some good food chill out a little bit and we hope you get involved next year with Kent Ride and Stride. Please do. It's free to join, free to do and you can raise money for all the churches around the UK and spread the word. Oh, we've got to eat some nice cake as well actually. <laughs> good conversations. Good conversations, good people yeah. and sad we should have recorded it but we were too busy talking at the time. There's a lady that did this Kent Ride and Stride She's 87, and her name was Joan, and she did it on bike, which she did over 19 miles on the bike at 80, 87 years old, wow. raising money for uh, the local church. Right, Bill? Yes. We're finished. We are. How did you feel the day went? Fantastic, fantastic. Done a lot of miles, met a lot of fantastic people. Yep. Saw some amazing churches. Yeah. Amazing. And, um, we raised between us, we've raised over 200 pounds, 230. Plus the 20, yeah. Plus two. the 20 um, bonus for getting to Merce and Old first, mm -hmm. quarter to 10. Um, fabulous, fabulous day. Lots of walking, done over 12 miles today. Yeah, couldn't have gone better. Yeah, we got to meet a lot of cool people. Everyone doing it for their own reasons as well different styles, walkers, runners and cyclists. The greeters are really nice. A couple of churches were extraordinarily sort of welcoming, weren't they? Yeah. As well. Yeah. Um, everyone, nice, was some, everyone was nice. Everyone was nice. Some nice cakes as well they? in some of the churches. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say Borden Church did a very good chocolate cake. Oh yeah. I actually, went, <laughs> I wanted a second, but I didn't. <laughs> because I'm, my face is fat. So, <laughs> no, I, didn't, I didn't have a second one, but <laughs> Borden's cakes were very nice actually. Very nice, yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing this next year. 100%. On foot? We have thought about maybe doing cycling just so we can hit more churches. Um, That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? We could start further afield then. Um, yeah, I don't think we could have really hit many more churches today. We had to stop for lunch. Let's yeah. take some breaks. We had a lot of chats yeah. with some interesting people. So, Maybe we could have hit another two, maybe three, but that would have been non stop. Mm. So, yeah. I think we've done that good. So, get involved next year. Kent Ride and Stride. Please get involved next year. Please. Yeah, it's a good cause and it just gets you out as well. And luckily today the weather's perfect. It was good. God bless you all and we'll speak soon. Brain side now. <laughs> Take food care. Time. Yeah, food time. I'm gonna eat some food. <laughs> Remember we said the tower? There it is there. We've made it. <laughs>